Hello! <laughs> it's been a while since I posted anything, so I'm giving you some updates. I ended up giving all those babies to my sister, so she had them. And then I decided that my coop wasn't big enough, so I started a really big project to build a huge master coop that would be very good for the summers here in Arizona. I ordered some chicks from McMurray Hatchery. I got Whiting True Greens and Andalusians, and I also got a free chick, which was a Cuckoo Moran. The Moran was a rooster, and he ended up mating with all of my chickens, and um, I still had one of the chicks left over from the ones I gave my sister, so it was an Easter Egger Rhode Island mix, and it laid Oh, she laid beautiful eggs. It was like this beautiful blue-green. Like it was green in some lights and then in other lights it would like turn this really pretty blue color. Anyway, it was like, what do you call that when it changes color in the light? I don't know. I can't think of the word. She was so sweet. Um, she ended up dying. So I have two of her babies and one of those babies ended up being a rooster and his name is lemon basil and um that little guy grew up and now he's mating with all of my adults and i have some babies from all of that i also when i was hatching out all of those eggs i also hatched out two black copper moran eggs I'm pretty sure one of those is a rooster. Anyway, that was a really long, 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 long description of what's been going on. So, yesterday I put the babies outside and it was completely full of grass and they mowed it down within like four hours. Anyway, <sighs> I'll stop talking to you right now and then I'll just show you the video. Here you go. I put the babies outside today. This entire thing was full of grass that I had planted and was watering diligently just for them. And they have completely mowed it down in one day. It wasn't even one day. I put them out like in the noon time. I also gave them some watermelon. They've been enjoying that. But look, that's all that's left. I am amazed and astonished and these guys want attention also. Don't you? My flowers are getting so pretty. They're not really flowers anymore. But they will be. Look at that. Hold on. Focus. Focus. Dang you. Well, I quit. Anyway. We seem to be having a very good time. I am going to put them up there tonight because usually when you put chicks outside for the first time, you have to train them to go inside at night. And it's important that they go inside at night because that helps protect them against predators. And also, if they're sleeping on the ground, they have more of a chance of getting parasites like uh, ticks and fleas and lice and all kinds of fun stuff like that so they will be healthier if I put them inside and they are just so silly they're really enjoying it out here <laughs> are you running around oh my goodness and they get a little bit bigger I can put them in here and then I need to get rid of lamb and I I think I'm gonna get rid of one of my whitings and I need to get rid of um, January Jones because I am trying to make a really healthy flock that makes really healthy eggs and her eggs are not very big and they're not very good so i love her but 
I have to do what's best for the outcome of everything. <sighs> Here are my thoughts. I think that Loaf is a girl. And Goober acts like a boy, so I think Goober's a boy. But Hood and Pop definitely acts like a girl. So, everyone else, oh, and Sunday acts like a girl. So out of these eight, I think I only have three girls. There's, it's all out of focus, I apologize. Oh look, he's going in himself. Maybe we won't have to put him in at night. Hopefully the others follow. This is all out of focus. Hold on. Maybe I should get closer. I don't know how this works. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that worked. So, as the sun goes down, we'll see. Sometimes, sometimes you get smarties that are like the leader of the flock, and they'll put themselves to bed. And that's always really amazing to get a leader that's that intelligent. But I don't know because... Muffin is the oldest, and they seem to follow Muffin around, and Muffin is, is horrible, not that intelligent. In fact, he's a, oh goodness, <laughs> he's a black copper moran, and I would like to breed him to get some more copper morans for their color, but, um, I also don't want a whole bunch of roosters and I have to choose who I'm taking. Hi, I'm not letting you out. You already had out all day. Yeah. Hello, Truly. Truly scrumptious rose. Did you lay your egg? Let's go look. Look how big this baby's getting. He is huge, huge boy. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of him, and I might have to get rid of him to someone who's going to make him into soup, but that is the outcome of being a rooster usually, so, uh, I don't know. You guys are too silly. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I put this little birdie perch up there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's her parrot. And little goober absolutely loves sitting on it. Anyway, I'm going to have to get rid of him. And then when Muffin gets old enough, I'm going to get some chicks from Muffin. I need to clean this. Hello, Lola. Lola Bean, she's molting. She looks awful. <laughs> Let's see here. I could have sworn there would be an egg. Truly's been mushing herself into this box uh, for the last two days. Just sitting and trying to lay. I, she's a new layer. They always have trouble. <sighs> she hasn't laid in two days though. So, anyway. I want to breed all of my roosters. Well, not all of them. I want to breed the Naked Neck. And I want to breed the Black Copper Moran so that I have naked neck jeans and the dark egg color. And then I want to breed um, Wednesday Adams because he's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I just think that would be amazing to have babies that are mixed with that pattern. And then I'm gonna have to get rid of all those little roosters and I'm going to have to separate them to breed them. <laughs> she says no. <laughs> Hi. It's 
so beautiful. Yes, you are. Pretty lady. There. And then, once I get those little babies, I think what I'm gonna do is call it quits on getting more chickens. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Once I get the naked neck jeans and the black copper Moran. And the whiting jeans. And then my flock will be perfect. And I've only been hatching out the biggest eggs that they lay. So that hopefully I will get chickens that lay really big eggs. Um, ma'am, you know you're eating wood right now, right? You know that? Well, that's food. That's what you're supposed to eat. Okay, well, I'm cooking stuff on the stove, so I should probably go and check on it now. And, um, hey, she's a little bit hot. A good way you can tell if a chicken is a little bit overheated is they have their little wings down like that and they breathe really hard. So as I'm going back inside, I'm gonna turn the, the cooler on so that she can get a little bit cooled off and they're cozy and comfortable. It's only like, I think it's only like 90 degrees right now. But yeah, it gets really hot during the day here. But they seemed to have a lot of fun with it. But look at my horrible yard. It's awful. Okay, seriously though. I left bacon cooking on the stove. I should have probably not spent so much time out here. I'll come out later and see if they put themselves to bed. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And that is it. That is all. That is all the updating I have for you as of now. And I'll let you know how the hatching turns out. Ta-da!